Hey everyone, we're at day 14. We're going to start out with a roll back to single leg toe touch. I'm going to actually regress that down a little bit for more of the beginner, uh, in, maybe beginner intermediate. So you're going to start with your feet about shoulder width apart. You're just going to use that momentum and that core to pull forward. Just think about using that core momentum to rock yourself up on those feet. And really also think about keeping your feet about here. I don't want you going here because that's really going to torque the knees. So really concentrate on keeping the feet about here. Now for more of the advanced group, I'm going to have you go into a single leg. So you're going to drop down, go up onto that one leg and touch that toe. And up, touch that toe. Really, really think about pulling that core together when you're reaching for that toe. Get that nice, nice little crunch to get that toe. So for these, we're only going to do maybe about 10 to 12 reps, just because these are pretty tough and your heart rate's going to get up there pretty quickly, especially when you're doing the two legs. So 10 to 12 reps, we're going to go four rounds. Okay, you guys, so now we're going to go into what I call a heli hold. So these are very isolating and you actually get a nice little shoulder workout with these. I love these. So beginner, what you're going to do is you're just going to sit down in a chair. You can be, um, actually, if you have a, a nice little end table or a table will work. So you're just going to get that nice little grip hands right next to your legs. And you're just going to contract those abs up nice and tight. And you're just going to hold and relax. So maybe for a count of anywhere from three to five, or if you can hold a little bit more, that's great. Just kind of holding and then sitting back down. So for these, let's do maybe anywhere from 10 to maybe 15 reps. We're gonna go four rounds. So just think that nice, good crunch. Think about drawing those knees up towards your chest. For the little bit more advanced, we're gonna do the same movement, but I just want you to keep your legs straight. So you're just going to get that nice straight leg. You're going to hold and come back down. Whew, you'll really feel it on your lower ab. Nice straight, hold it and back down. These are pretty crazy. If you guys can't make four rounds, that's totally okay because these are really tough. So for our metabolic today, we're going to go into an overhead wood chop. So you can use a medicine ball or any kind of resistant object you might you might have at home or you could actually use no weight so sh feet should be about shoulder width apart and you're just going to think about almost like chopping a piece of wood just nice and up and down movement except we're going to get going a little bit faster boom So you're really going to feel this on the front. It's really going to work the whole core, your back, shoulders. This is a great one, you guys. So let's look for anywhere from 15 to 25 reps for rounds. You can work that nice circuit. You can do all the wood chops at the end or work them in however, however it works for your, your different workout styles. So glad you guys are back with me. Make sure you subscribe. If you're subscribed, my videos get right to you that next morning. You can get up, get right back into the routine. Share it with your friends, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Check me out there. I'm commenting and posting great stuff all day long. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Let me know with your comments. I'll see you tomorrow.